back at the Fancy Springs Resort and Casino in Indio, California. Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN. Bethel Duran alongside the Bernard Hopkins as our next fight is making their way into the ring. That'll be Genaro Gámez taking on Miguel Mendoza. There you see it, Gámez. A lot of power, a lot of potential. Trained by Robert Garcia, eight rounds. This one had to change weight. It was supposed to be 37. Then it became let's go around 40-ish. But they weighed in at 139. So, Genaro Gámez out of San Diego, 6-0, four KOs. He's taking on a veteran, and Bernard, when you're 6-0 and, and you're taking a guy over 40 fights, competition there. Yeah, very competition, definitely experience, as you mentioned. And you know, you must uh, respect that, but you have to respect it in a different way, and you have to be yourself. Our ring announcer, Joe Martinez, is ready to go. And, and here, we, here go, we go, ladies and gentlemen, next fight, eight rounds, this in the super lightweight. Introducing to first, first blue corner. corner, wearing black trunks, he weighed in officially 137 pounds. This veteran has a record standing at 20, including two knockouts, it's in two draws. But this make here is er Miguel Angel Mendoza. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. 39 and three quarter. He stands perfect in six professional bouts. Six victories. Feats. Way of knockout. San Diego, California. Here is the. Hinaro. El Gome. And your referee in charge of the action, Eddie Hernandez. Marquis, Mr. Marquis, Marquis. All right, gentlemen, I've been over the rules with you both. You're professionals. I expect you to conduct yourself as such. Touch gloves. Good luck. Thank you. Eddie Hernandez, third man in the ring tonight. Bernard, you've seen Gomez a bit. This kid has power, has potential, but the trouble has been making the weight. Eddie, Ma making the weight, and you know that's Eddie. a little. Professional, but you know he has to get that under control, you know, fast, uh, the late because you know he's in a division and plus he's, you know it's, you're professional. When you're professional, you must represent what that means. And they will ideally like him at 135. His trainer, manager Robert Garcia, said, Gomez, six and zero, four KOs. His last fight was in August. A fight that went the distance, six rounds at the StubHub Center. He's 22 years old out of San Diego. Started boxing because his father also boxed. Dad from Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico. Leonardo grew up in San Diego County. His opponent, Miguel Mendoza, 34 years old. Aguas Calientes, Mexico. This guy's been around the block a while. He's been around the block a while. And he just got hit with a really sharp right hand. Then I'm looking for it to be something effective later. And Gomez, uh, you know, he needs to throw a little bit more, like more than one shot. He's trying to throw a left, and uh, he's not going to get there with a left. He has to be aggressive, he has to be a little tough in there, or he's going to get picked apart. Uppercut from Gomez. He's got the white gloves, got the style. Gomez is just. He's waiting to, to either throw a straight right hand or left hook behind it because he's just waiting to pick his shots. He's looking for one shot, huh? Yeah, well, he's looking for one shot now, but he's putting it together like he just did there. And that's part of the first round of, of action. He's going to start putting them together more because he see the radar is right there. Uppercut. Power from Gomez. Bouncing around on his toes in the opening round. Loading up on the right. Mendoza absorbing some punishment. Right hook from Gomez, overhand right. And Mendoza, not just being defensive, winging it, isn't he, Bernard? Yeah, he is. He's trying to throw one big shot to keep his guy off him. Uh, but, you know, 
He's a veteran, so he know how to survive, and he he been hit before, as you see that exchange, and he got a right hand in. Rendis all over the face of Mendoza. Gom is solid first round. He's loading up on his punches. But Mendoza's there. He's tough. Glad the shot of his own. Gomez answers a couple. Body shot from Gomez. Good action in the opening round. He's in there with a true veteran that's not going to back up, that's continuing to throw punches. And some redness around the face of Gomez. He's landed a lot of the shots. Both fighters exchanging. Good opening round between Gomez and Mendoza. Joined by a special guest. Uh, he knows the 126-pound division now. Ronnie Reels joins us. Beth Duran, Bernard Hopkins. Ronnie, you got a fight coming up on ESPN. When is it? Uh, March 9th at the OC Hangar. It will be televised by ESPN. You got a Zat Hovanesian, a tough Armenian fighter. What are you expecting? I'm expecting a, a crazy fight. You know, I'm, I expect him to come forward, um, just like his nickname, Crazy A. But it's okay. You know, we've uh, we've already been practicing. We we're gonna weather the storm, and um, I can come forward too as myself. So you know, it's how exciting you are to continue to show people that you are a real deal, and you want to continue to uh, make uh, your name in boxing. Um, I'm very excited, not, not only to prove a statement, but at the same time, a lot of these Hall of Famers, like yourself, you know, they they retired, Andre Ward, Box. and um, they've already retired, so it's already time for the new generation to step up, you know. Wait, let me get this right. We're one, 122 is where you're fighting now, right? Yes, sir. I said, well, sorry, I'm not trying I to know. give you 122. We're 122, Ronnie has fought on pay-per-view. He's fought for the world title against Ray Vargas, very game Effort it's, from it's you. It's his time. It's his time. You know, Ryan, like he mentioned about the veterans, it's his time. And there's a lot of uh, guys in the weight division says their time. Yeah, it's, it's just, you know, it's being patient, waiting for the right time. And it, the time is here. You know, these guys come to my backyard. Um, so I want to go out there and show a statement, not only to, to him, but to the world. You know, I want to go out there and say I'm here. Battery March 9th, OC, fair. You can see it on ESPN. Also that night, your brother Alexis Rocha on the car, so a family affair. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a big honor for both of us. You know, this is this is uh, we're making history for our hometown. Um, two Orange County fighters fighting in Orange County with ESPN coming on our backyard, so that's that adds um, extra excitement for us. Representing Santana, yes, CKO Box, one city over, as a matter of fact. Yep. Or Santa Ana, depends how you want to say it. I know. Out. Everybody always likes to argue that, but I just call it Santa Ana, you know. How do you feel when you look at other fights and, and you know, you're outside like you're now in the ring side? It's, it's funny that you mention that because when you're asking me that, I look at the fight and I and I picture my, and I tell myself, what would I do different? For example, like uh, Gomez, you know, he's headhunting right now. And he, um, I think what I would do would, it would be get his attention upstairs by maybe one, two shots and then load up to the body shot, you know? Especially because this guy keeps leaning to his right hand side, so he's open to the right like that, and body downstairs like that. Let's see what I'm saying. Back to back, solid right hands from Gomez. The veteran is so used to you know being hit, he can take a hit. Yeah, I mean this guy, this guy, this guy's gonna come to fight. You know, this guy has a lot of fights. He's fought a lot of good names, but um, Gomez is here and he wants to put a statement. Not only that, he has a good coach in his corner too. Gomez throwing one punch at a time. Jessica Rosales reporting from the corner of Gomez and Robert Garcia told her it's a fun round for the fans, fun fight for the fans, not for Gomez. Yeah, I was about to say, now your coach, your coach never wants you to be in fight of the years. Now Gomez going southpaw. Yeah, and I don't see no reason to go softball because he's so successful doing what he was doing. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, he's turned back, yeah. so he's listening to us. I mean, the only the only thing I would see him going softball is because, like I keep saying, he keeps leaning to his right hand side. You know, he's open to that right left. If he wanted to go softball, he can loop his left hand. You know. That, that was the voice of Ronnie Rios. Check him out, March 9th, OC Fair, the hangar. He'll be on the main event on ESPN. Ronnie, thank you. We'll see you in a couple of weeks in Orange County at the second round, winding down between Gomez and Mendoza in India. Four body, digging, digging, digging. Ooh, 
The crowd can hear it. They're ooh and eye. Way more than oh! I got told it. you that punch is there for it. Kim check with the left from Hovanesian. I mean, come on, man. This is the definition of a slugfest. Renato Gomez in the red. Miguel Mendoza, the veteran, in the black and blue. In the corner, Luis Gomez, his father, is a trainer, but Robert Garcia also in the corner, serving as manager slash second. Right hand from Mendoza. Bernard looking at my notes, and Mendoza told me yesterday when they agreed to a new contract that this is going to be the heaviest he's ever fought. He came in at 37. He said usually he goes from 130 to 135, 35 being the heaviest he's ever fought. He's like, I know it's going to give me a little bit more because I can absorb some more punches. It is also taking you know, some of his speed too. So it's sort of give and take. Right now it's working in his favor. Betty is his nickname from Mendoza. Uh, they say it in Spanish, a terrier. Like he's a bull terrier. Yeah, like a pit bull. It yep. Oh, big cut on the right side of the head of uh, Mendoza. And it came from a punch, no head, but I Was it a punch? The, yeah, I've seen a left hook. It's probably on the replay, but he got hit with something like a left hook, I believe. That rugged Mexican tough fighter that has a big heart that's just gonna come at you. That's what Mendoza is. A big step up for Gomez as far as experience that he's going against. Gomez continue to throw to the body. I mean, we mentioned that the round before, and he's going to the body. Yep. That's where he's getting the response. When he goes to the body, then he goes with an uppercut. And he knows there's a good, good, good chance he can get this guy out of here. Well, you talk to any trainer, they'll tell you those Mexican fighters that come from Mexico, where you have no video on them, they can all take a punch, but it's the body that gets them, right? It's the bread basket that, <laughs> that don't want to get buttered. Yeah, the pan dulce doesn't want any right there. <laughs> 38 fights from Mendoza, who started boxing at the age of 18 as a pro. Yamas, yeah, his brother doesn't box, but his brother does mitts for him. It's a family affair down in San Diego. Well, Yamas now needs to work on some counters. I mean, and one of the counters would be a good right uppercut because he's in position to throw that and he can't miss. And then he'll you know, try something else after that, but not just one uppercut or one right hand or one left hand. He must put two, three pucks together because that's where he seemed to get a lot of value. Final seconds of the round. Gomez, Mendoza. Lightweight division win in Dio, California on the night of Joseph Diaz Jr., the main event. Jessica Rosales, third member of our crew. She's standing by with a special guest. All right, guys, here with King Rai, who in exactly one month will be here headlining at Fantasy Springs. First off, Ryan, this is your first taste of being here at Fantasy. What are your thoughts so far? My thoughts, it's, uh, it's a nice place. It's a nice venue. There's a lot of people here, and I just can't wait for my fight so I can just, you know, get this, this crowd hyped up. I'm going to get it hyped up. <laughs> and you know, that's something that you're pretty good at. I know that I follow you on Instagram. You're always dancing on there, but you are always training. Tell me about camp and how that's been going for you. Camp is going great. It couldn't be going better, to be honest, because I'm just having a good time. I'm just being myself, and I'm training hard like I always do. Tell me about being out here tonight, obviously supporting some of the Golden Boy fighters out here tonight. What have you seen so far? Uh, you know, they're fighting great. They're looking good. Uh, I, I'm waiting for my friend Virgil Ortiz to fight. That's uh, who, I, who I know most here. So I can't wait for him to get up there and do his thing. 
Now this is your moment. Tell that King Rye Army why they should be out here March 22nd. Be here because you know what I bring. I bring explosion. I bring power. My fight might end in one round. It might end in eight rounds. You never know. So you just got to be there and watch because I'm like, you don't right, guys. I, I got to watch out over here. We're going to send it back to you guys. <laughs> hey, mention Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz will be the opener of the TV tonight. Right now, Hinato Gomez and Miguel Mendoza are going at it. Beth Duran, Bernard Hopkins. Here in Indio, California, the first Golden Boy boxing show on ESPN of 2018. This is good experience for Gomez, isn't it? It is. What a way to start off 2018. Really good experience because, you know, he's in there where he got to figure it out. And he also got to continue to do what's been working. Wild swing and a miss. Mendoza covered up. And as you progress also as a young fighter, you know, that one shot might knock out somebody early on in your career. But you realize that as you go up in weight, as you go up against experience, that a lot of these guys have that beard where that one shot is. Not that you don't have the power, but these guys can take it. You have to use the power. Weight is weight. But if you can't use the power with the weight, it doesn't mean anything. You're just a heavier guy. See, the veteran, he can fight like this all night. He's not being pressured. He's not being in a hurry. You know, so he need, he need now to try to continue to try to throw punches like that to try to seem like he's in the fight. But it's just really just like he's getting a chance to rest right now. And right now, Gomez should be on him. Continue to pressure him. Continue to throw those punches like that. And make him back up. Back him up. Back the veteran up. Let him use his self up as seconds go by. So an uppercut from Gomez. You know, Gomez is a good counter puncher. If you look at his counter puncher, he sort of, he reacts very well. Like now, right there. He comes up every time a punch is thrown at him. He needs to throw two or three, four punches. And most of them uppercuts and they hit their mark. Body shot from Gomez, upstairs. Uh, loading up on that right, Mendoza absorbing that shot. But well, Mendoza's backing up because he's trying to get hit with those body shots and those punches like that. Three or four, five punch combinations. Mendoza breathing heavy with 10 seconds to go in the fourth round. Gomez, Mendoza, and in Indio, California. 22-year-old Gomez looking good. Four body went digging, digging, digging. Ooh, the crowd can hear it. They're ooh and an Way more than oh! I told you that punch is there for it. Chin check with the left from Hovanesian. This is the definition of a slug bit. stays on his stool doesn't come out for the fifth round very game Mexican fighter Miguel Mendoza I think he understood he took a lot of punishment he took a lot of punishment and you know he was rubbing his side I think it was his right side he was rubbing it and I think he got hit with too many body shots the last two rounds and that was just about enough so the 
Mendoza doesn't come out for the fifth. Gadano Gomez gets his seventh victory, his fifth stoppage. You see the kid has the ability, has the talent, but will he able to find the work ethic to get there? He's about 5'6", so 140 is going to be too big for him. Whatever weight he's comfortable at, he has to come in. Whatever weight that he's, he's, he's fighting, of course we know he must make that weight. That's the professionalism of the sport. And you know, I think he will be ready next time and he'll be on shape. But I think he just miscalculated the weight. And Aro Gámez, a todos de Los Mochis, Sinaloa, where his family is from. And Joe Martinez in the ring is ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, by request of the blue corner, referee Eddie Hernandez calls a halt to this bout. Your winner by TKO victory, the end of round number four. He's still undefeated, Gennaro El Conde Gomez. Gomez gets the victory. Jessica Rosales is telling us that Mendoza told his corner he felt like throwing up. So Gomez, the body shot, Bernard. Victory for Gomez, Tanahata Jr., Manny Robles. 8.30, we're on ESPN2 TV. Jojo Diaz is the main event.